Greetings, gentle readers, and welcome once again to the vast and mysterious comic book vault. I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Vince. Vince, today we're going to be taking a look at another single issue. Today we're going to be looking at Spawn number 29. This is a one-shot story, uh, which is why I thought it would be a cool uh, thing to look at from Spawn, uh, about a, uh, a horrible father who beats his children, Vince. <laughs> That, in a nutshell, is what it is. That's 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 pretty much what it is. It's about a couple of uh, a couple of kids whose uh, father is a police officer whose uh, wife died, and uh, he has uh, coped with that by beating the crap out of his kids. And Spawn shows up uh, at their house after his uh, big battle with uh, with Heaven uh, the, in the previous issues before this. And by the way, this is, uh, once again, very much a standalone kind of issue. You can read it without having read any Spawn. Vince has not read Spawn, and, he, and, I, and I got him to read this. That's the first issue of Spawn I've ever read. And you had no problem with it. No. The thing about it is, is that uh, as a comic book reader, it's easy to say, I understand that this event... Take pl takes place after something else has happened. The only thing you need to understand, which they tell you in the story, is that he's had a big battle, he is uh, battle-torn, and there's this young boy who's trying to take care of him. It wouldn't be any different if you were to read a story about uh, uh, a guy from the Civil War who was wandering in from a battle. I mean, it's that's right. It's pretty. It's it's pretty easy to pick up. There is a subplot uh, that moves some things along for the story at large with Terry Fitzgerald and also, and also with um, Sam and Twitch, which don't have a whole lot to do with you know the the, the main story here. Um, yeah, that part was kind of strange. And that and that part you probably won't really care what's going on, but it's not very much of the issue. So anyway, I will say you do need to know who Spawn is, though, and that he is an agent of hell in some way. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> but you know, you pretty most people know that. Most right people now. know what Spawn is, <laughs> especially people who are willing to pick up Spawn. So then, having, having never read an issue of Spawn, let me also mention that, uh, that, that, that this is this is a Todd McFarlane um, uh, script, and this is also Todd McFarlane art, art and Greg Paul art at the same time. Uh, it's it's uh, my dream team for Spawn. I mean, you never get any better than those two put together. Um, this being the only issue of Spawn you've ever read, um, what did you think of it? And would you read more Spawn having read this? Uh, it doesn't get me jazzed for the rest of Spawn, but I don't regret having read it. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, sure. I enjoyed it to a certain extent. Uh, it's it was a little it was a little short for me, and I don't mean short because it was a single issue, no kidding. Really? Only twenty two pages? That's not a novel to you? No. But <laughs> but uh, I it was the characters really didn't get in deep for me. And I didn't necessarily feel like they were supposed to. And uh, I and if that's indicative of the rest of the series, then, you know, maybe it's not my bag, not to say that it's good or bad, it's just something that's that I'm not particularly into. However, I will say that uh, this this is very creative. I mean, they, the thing that, that I really took away from, uh, from Spawn 29 is that uh, the little boy is, is a stereotype of little boy. The older brother is a stereotype of the older brother of a uh, little boy who's beat regularly. Uh, Spawn is, well... Spawn, <laughs> and uh, the father is sort of a stereotype of a uh, guy that would beat his kids, and that is okay to a certain extent, because it's a single issue, you need people to be able to read it, pick it up, and understand it within 22 to 26 pages. I also think it's trying to say something about the archetypes. It's not just when you say we're, we're like we're like it's not trying to develop these as characters. And by the way, uh, uh, years later they brought these characters back and did something with them and fleshed them out more and made them more real people. But I mean, but I mean, here I'd say that they're archetypes, you know, you know, on purpose, and that this is more um, to give to give Spawn a particular experience than it is to tell us something about those characters. Like, even though Spawn is largely in the background, I don't think that... I think he is still our protagonist here. Yeah, I mean, I think some of the interesting things are... Uh, like, one of the reasons that... Uh, I hate to do it, but one of the reasons that the Punisher works well in the background is that uh, he gets to learn certain lessons about people, like, like these kids, you know? You get to see... You get to see what these people, or what uh, people like Spawn are doing in relate. Like, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that uh, just because you kill a person or hurt a person doesn't necessarily mean that it does any good. So yeah, that, that's that, that's that's a good point. And um, Spawn has killed a lot of people by now with no good coming of it. And so this is late enough in in the series that I think it's it's uh, it's it's kind of 
it's kind of the right place for him to go. Yeah, I'm not just going to kill this guy. It wouldn't you, he does it's something I thought was really creative, uh, like like you said, where he yeah, that's why um, it's creative. But uh, that's the cool thing about the issue. And do we run or ruin it? I don't know. I mean, it um, is an older issue. It's an older issue. Um, I don't know how easy it is for folks to get it without getting it in trade. But yeah, okay, fine. We won't ruin it. If you don't want me to ruin it, I won't ruin it. Yeah. That's the cool reason to read this issue, though. That's a good point, yeah, to figure out what Spawn does to the guy. Um, I'll tell you, though, uh, part of the reason I wanted you to, 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 to look at this, uh, well, Vince, part, partly is because you've never read Spawn before, and this was the first Spawn issue I ever read. Um, and I, 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 wanted to, I wanted you to read it because uh, I read it when I was, like, ten, and it bothered the crap out of me, like, 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 because there was a kid who, uh, who I was friends with who brought it to school, and I think he would have gotten in a lot of trouble if anybody found it, but, uh, but the, this, the, but, but this kid, I, I remember, I remember him hiding Spawn comics all the time at school. When I read it, uh, I spent most of I the issue kind of, kind of, you know, Cap told me that beforehand, that, uh, when it was a kid, it, when he was a kid, it scared him, and, and I spent most of the issue kind of going, I'm not sure why, it seems like a pretty standard child reading story, <laughs> and, uh, that's because I'm cynical and jaded. No, stuff. that's okay. <laughs> but uh, when I got to the end, I was like, "Wow, that was kind of uh, that was kind of freaky," because uh, you know, usually whenever I read these stories, uh, the the guy gets punished, the kids get taken away. They're like, "Wow, now we're out of that situation," and uh, it doesn't end that way. The the uh, this doesn't necessarily have third act syndrome at all. It's, no, no. It has a definite conclusion. <laughs> it, uh, I feel kind of that it kind of ends realistically, even. Mm -hmm. I kind so, of so too. As opposed to, uh, wow, he got his butt kicked by Batman, and now the bad guy's a good guy because he's learned his lesson. Nope, that's not the way it happens. Well, you want to go ahead and go to the trivia question? Yeah, sure. Vince, the trivia question from last week was, in what Batman the Animated Series episode does the Penguin steal the Batmobile? The answer was The Mechanic. That was the name of the episode, and that was given to us first by White Sun 1047 uh, And uh, so, Vince, what is today's question? Today's question is, by the way, just in case you didn't see it, I'm pretty certain the hint's going to be like right here, right? No, the hint happens after you say the question. Oh, yeah. Vince is still sick, for those of you who haven't seen that video yet. <laughs> no, um, you, 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 no, 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 man. It's okay. We're, we're, this, this series is still somewhat new. We're still getting the kings right now. So you say the question, and then the hint happens. Okay? Are you, are, are you following oh, me? Okay. I was like, wait. Right. Because the hint didn't make yeah, sense. Right. Right where it was. The let's, answer, let's ask the question. <laughs> go ahead. We're do this. All right, go ahead, Vince. Hang on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What was the name of the man who voiced Spawn in the HBO animated series? That's your question. Here's your hint. <laughs> and uh, if you think you know the answer to that question, leave it in the comments. And whoever gets it first, of course, will mention in next week's comic book vault. Hey, Vince, did you know that the comic book vault is a vast, incredible wonderland of comic books that you can both donate things to and buy things from? And of I've course, that somewhere. And of course, hear us you know, talk about things from it. Uh, if you have something you'd like to send to us uh, physically for us to review, um, or just something you've got laying around that you don't want anymore and you'd like to see if maybe we uh, will like it, uh, be sure to send that to us at the comic book vault. Uh, that's our P.O. Box, Keep Pollution P.O. Box, 14183, Lenexa, Kansas, 66288. Five. You can also uh, purchase things from the Comic Vault. Go to wearegeeksnotnerds.com and click on. Uh, here's a hint. It's the Comic Vault. That, that, that's your hint. <laughs> and you can see whatever eBay auctions we currently have uh, from the Comic Vault. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Vince. We'll see Six you next time. Vince. <laughs>